Origami paper is so much fun to play with. Let's make more cool shapes. What should we create next? Wow, we've made so many things. Alright, let's go play now. Hold on. Hey, the origami paper is still all over the place. Where did it come from? Is it over there? Or here? Here. Here. Wait, who are you? Do I have an origami case? An origami paper case? It's going to be one from now on, so keep watching. Look, it's stuck to a case. Wow, what a fantastic origami holder. Let's put all the origami paper inside. It's so cute. Now the desk is super clean and shiny. Let's cut the transparent paper into a mountain shape. Cut it nice and slow. If it starts to bend, just turn the transparent paper. Keep the scissors straight and close the lid when you're done. When you begin, it's just perfect. Maybe we can use this for something? Let's save it. Next, let's try putting it together with the case. We'll stick it on with tape. We'll add lots of pieces like jellyfish legs. Put the case down with the dip in the middle facing down. Place the transparent paper on top, overlapping it a bit. Once you know where it goes, tape it down. Both the transparent paper and case are smooth, so you can stick and unstick them as much as you want. It might be stronger if you take the sides too. The transparent paper part is the case. This will be the box lid. It's tricky at first, so fold it well and rub it a lot. Now it's time to decorate. I used some leftover transparent paper from before. Maybe I'll stick it on like little ears. Decorate yours any way you like. I'll add some round stickers too. When you draw on the transparent paper, use an oil-based pen. Oil-based pens have strong ink, so you can draw on smooth surfaces. If you get ink on your clothes or the desk, it won't come off, so be careful when using it. Finished. Let's put some origami paper in it. It's in. It's the only origami case in the world. Use it carefully. Thank you for watching. Oh,